I've got my uh, flat pancake coil again and I've got it uh, hooked up to a flash circuit of which I've took the uh, electrolytic capacitor off and uh, put an AC one on. Uh, the switch I'm using at the moment is uh, two halves of a relay. Uh, I'm using it so I can uh, get a spark gap going between it. And I've hooked it up to a 3 volt supply, or about 2.5 ish. And instead of taking the leads off the capacitor, I've uh, taken it off the, uh, uh, the xenon bit of the flash because it's, uh, it's got a high voltage. Uh, I think it comes out at. Uh, about 600 volts now and uh, if I put my supposed mobile phone device down on it and switch it on you'll notice it instantly charges up the uh, the neon and if I can just push this down slightly You can get uh, transmission through that. You can see that that's glowing. And I just need to uh, do a bit more work to it. But uh, that's a uh, a circuit now with which you stand alone from the uh, frequency counter or signal generator and uh, hopefully we're getting some uh, good amount back out of this and uh, we're running it off uh, 2.5 volts I think that uh, we could possibly uh, charge a battery inside there and then charge the mobile phone off it or uh, maybe uh, a couple of capacitors and then uh, straight into the mobile phone and see how we get on with it just to smooth the electricity out uh, so now else I was thinking about doing was uh, using a couple of razor blades there as the spark gap so I can get it to uh, a correct distance where it's going to uh, uh, trigger itself because at the moment I'm just off on the spark gap But just a little bit closer. It's bright and very bright, that is. See, that's the distance I need, look. need to do it a bit more exact and it's also wasting all of the energy of the flash at the moment so uh, after we've disconnected that uh, I'm sure we're going to get uh, much larger pulses that's great then and uh, thanks for watching